Hi guys, I am Prashant Goda and my friend Kuldeep Kumar. We both giving you a brief introduction about microprocessor and interfacing lab under the guidance of Mr. Abhishek sir. Compilation and execution. Higher languages like C, C++, Java and basics are converted into assembly level languages using compilers or interpreters. Higher level languages are closer to English and and can be understood by humans where assembly level languages are converted into machine level languages or o codes using assemblers o codes are the series of zeros and ones that can be understood by the microprocessors more efficient codes can be written where these machine level languages codes are can only be understood by microprocessor these machine level languages are executed by the microprocessor microprocessor an integrated circuit that contains all the functions of a central processing unit of a computer the heart of the microprocessor is called the central processing unit cpu the cpu consists of a set of resistors control unit and arithmetic logic unit the cpu has in addition certain memory units which could have a bus unit interface together packaged to form a microprocessor microprocessor on its own has no meaning if there is no input devices connected to it the devices like keyboard mouse joystick etc there should also be a output devices connected to it like monitor printer and so on together this becomes a computing devices or a computer in 8086 microprocessor architecture complete 1 mb memory is divided into 16 logical segments each segment thus contains 64 kb of memory while addressing any location in the memory bank the physical address is calculated from two parts the first part is segment address and the second is offset the segment registers contain 16 bit segment based addresses related to different segments thus the core segment data segment extra segment and stack segment segment registers respectively contain the segment addresses for the core data extra and stack segments they may or may not be physical separated each segment registers contain a 16 bit base address that points to the lowest addressed byte of that particular segment in memory ip instruction pointer it is a 16 bit register which identifies the location of the next word of instruction code that is to be fetched in the current code segment ip contains an offset instead of the actual address of the next instruction the 20 bit address produced after addition of the offset stored in ip to segment based addresses in the code segment is called physical address of the code byte code segment the core segment points to the core within the memory space if you just change the value in the segment register you could switch across the complete 1 mb of memory the data segment registers at the bottom and the core segment register at the top and the extra segment and stack segment registers are in the middle the execution unit mainly consists of six main parts namely general purpose register special purpose register arithmetic and logic unit operand register instruction pointer and decoder flag register the execution unit performs all arithmetic and logical operations and internal data transfer or operations general purpose register or ax bx cx and dx where ax is accumulator register bx is base address register cx is the counter register and dx is the data register where each of these registers is of 16 bits these four registers are available for the programmers each general purpose registers are divided into two parts whereas accumulator register is divided into two parts accumulator high accumulator low where accumulator high is of 8 bits and accumulator low is of 8 bits and so on the base address register is divided into base address high and base address low each of 8 bits and same the counter register 
is divided into counter resistor high and counter resistor low each of 8 bits and then at last the data resistor is divided into data resistor high and data resistor low each of 8 bits special purpose resistor special purpose resistors are the resistors which does the dedicated task or user cannot change their use special purpose resistors are stack pointer base pointer source index and destination index the special purpose resistors are ease of 16 bits first is stack pointer this works on the principle of last in first out the address of the top value in stock is owed by the stack pointer resistor offset address is owed by the stack pointer and stack always resides in stack segment stack segment resistor will be given by the stack segment register which is in BIU and offset address is hold by stack pointer physical address is calculated by stack segment into 10 plus stack pointer base pointer base pointer is of 16 bits base pointer points to data within the stack segment base pointer in a register can hold any random location in a stack next is source index it is of 16 bits does the working of holding offset addresses for the data segment it also holds source offset addresses of string operations next destination index it is also of 16 bits it holds the extra segment holds destination offset addresses of string operations segment registers first is code segment Core segment is a 16-bit register containing address of 64KB segment with the processor instructions. The processor uses core segment for all accesses to instructions referred by instruction pointer register. Core segment register cannot be changed directly. The core segment register is automatically updated during for jump, for call and for return instructions. Data segment register. Data segment register is a 16-bit register containing address of 64KB segment with program data. By default, the processor assumes that all data referenced by general purpose registers AX, BX, CX, DX and index register SI and DI is located in the data segment. Data segment register can be changed directly using POP and LDS instructions. Stack segment register. Stack segment register is a 16-bit register containing address of 64KB segment with program stack. By default, the processor assumes that all data referenced by the stack pointer and base pointer registers is located in the stack segment. Stack segment register can be changed directly using POP instructions. Extra segment. Extra segment is 16-bit registers containing address of 64KB segment, usually with the program data. By default, the processor assumes that the DI register references the extra segment in string manipulation instructions. Extra segment register can be changed directly using POP and LES instructions. It is possible to change default segments used by the general and index register by, by prefixing the instructions with their code segment, stack segment, destination segment or extra segment prefix. Next, instruction pointer. To access instructions, the 8086 uses the registers code segment and IP. The code segment register contains the segment number of the next instruction and the IP contains the offset. IP is updated each time an instruction is executed so that it will point, point to the next instructions. Unlike other registers, the IP can't be directly manipulated by an instruction. That is, an instruction may not contain IP as its operand. Flag register. Flag register determines the current state of the processor. Flag register is of 16 bits. They are modified automatically by CPU after mathematical operations. This allows to determine the type of the result and to determine conditions to transfer control to other parts of the program. Generally, you cannot access these registers directly. There are two types of flags, status flags and control flags. Status flags are carry flag, 
parity flag auxiliary flag sign flag zero flag and overflow flag control flags are trap flag interrupt enable flag and direction flag general form of the assembly program we can see all the programs will follow some common format the best way to begin with the programming is to analyze given program then we can understand the program needs some input the best way is to analyze the program is the good programming knowledge sometimes the result of the programming needs to be stored in the memory hence the given program demands for a certain amount of logical space this is called as data segment the program needs to be stored in the particular memory so we need to uh, data segment similarly the program will have the space for the instructions to execute the given program this requires a logical space called as code segment code segment required to store the instructions of the given program next if any program needs stack facility then it must use stack segment and one more logical block called as extra segment can also be used as an additional destination data in data segment note that all these segments are not compulsory for the program only code segment is compulsory and rest all can be used depending on the requirement in our programs we have used data segment and code segment only as other two segments are of no use in these programs these are represented by dot data and dot code these are also called as assembler directives it means that we use only code segment and data segment and rest all are depending upon the requirement assembler directives indicate how an operand or section of the program is to be processed by the assembler some directives generate and store information in memory while others not in our programs we use only data segment and core segment and rest are of no use in these programs most commonly used assembler directives are listed below with their meaning dot small when we want to initialize the program we need dot small it means that one code segment and one data segment dot data it defines the data segment to initialize data segment we need dot data dot code it defines code segment it also initializes code segment dot stack defines stack segment dot extra it is for extra segment byte if you want to initialize some bytes we need byte it indicates byte sized data db is for define bits it is of 8 bits dw it is for word 16 bits and when we want to assign large number of uh, value we need dd it defines double words 32 bits dup is for generates duplication and to end the program we need uh, end it ends the program whenever we wrote a macro in a program we need end m it ends the macro and when we write a program when we write a processor in the program we need end p to end a processor eq is to equates the data to label guidelines to use the assembler the assembly level language programming can be done using the assemblers there are a number of assemblers are available like massam tasm and das assembler where massam is one of the popular assemblers used along with the link program to illustrate the codes generated in the forms of an executable file massam reads the source program as its input and provides an object file massam reads the source program as its own input and it gives us the object file the link accepts the object file produced by massam as input and produces an exe file massam commands cd folder name in folder name you are supposed to give the folder name where we write the uh, massam that is program cd massam cd is for change directory then edit file name dot asm after this command executed in command prompt an editor window will open where we are supposed to write the program instructions program should be typed in this window and saved the program structure is given below structure of a program dot model dot model is a memory structure where tiny tiny refers to one code segment small refers to uh, one data segment and 
one core segment medium is one data segment and two core segment large means more than one core segment and more than one data segment dot stack some number dot data when you want to initialize the data which is used in the program we need dot data dot code program logic goes here in the code segment we are supposed to write the instructions that we are executing in the program and followed by the end and we have also one more method to write the microprocessor instructions this is the way here we write assume cs code segment ds data segment here we are supposed to initialize code segment and data segment data segment followed by data ends code segment followed by code ends in data segment we are supposed to write initialization of data we required in the program in code segment we are supposed to write start here program logic goes here it means that we are supposed to write the instructions of the program in the code segment to run the program the following steps have to be followed to execute the instructions we write in the uh, structure we are supposed to do the uh, these two methods folder name first you are supposed to give the massm file name dot asm file name means where we write the program we are supposed to give that file name here and then link file name dot obj after verifying the program for correct syntax and this generated object file should be linked together we are supposed to link the object file for the program for this our link command should be executed and it will give an exe file if the model directory is small after that massm file name dot asm command is executed in command prompt if there are no errors in program regarding to syntax the assembler will generate an object module this abcdf bug file name dot exe this is for execution after generating exe file by the assembler it is the time to check out the output for this the above command is used and the execution of the program can be done in different ways it is an shown below g is for complete execution of a program in single step when we want a output in single step we need g for stepwise execution we use t d ds is for starting address or ending address to see data in memory location to see the data in memory location we need d ds p it is used to execute interrupt or processor during stepwise execution of a program anywhere we are checking for an interrupt in the stepwise execution we need p and to quit the execution we need quit thank you for watching this video